Okay, it's time to get the final service or server running in this network, in this basically this local area network we've set up. We have three servers, right? We've got a DHCP and DNS server up here, a mail server over here, and a web and FTP server over here. And so we've set up all the other things. Now we want to set up our mail server right down here. So we'll click on the mail server, and we'll go to config, and we'll click on email. And you can see that it's actually a pretty easy setup. We've got an SMTP server for sending email, and we've got a POP3 service for delivering email. So we need to set up our domain name for our mail server. So I'm going to set up the domain name mail.danscourses.com. Mail.danscourses.com. And I'm going to click set. All right, now I need to set up some users. So I'll set up a user, Dan, and Dan, and I'll hit the plus, and then I'll set up Cisco and the password Cisco, and hit the plus, right? And you can see we can highlight these email accounts that we've set up. These are our mail accounts, and we can remove them, we can add new ones, or we can change the password. But for right now, our mail server is set up, and we are the domain mail.danscourses.com. So the next thing we need to do, if we're going to resolve mail.danscourses.com, then we're going to need to go back to our DNS server here and put a record that will resolve that domain name. So I'll go back to the DNS server, and I'm going to go back to DNS. Here's the DNS. And I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to say we need an A record for mail.danscourses.com, right? And this domain name, mail.danscourses.com, is not going to resolve to 192.168.1.253, where our FTP and web server is, but it's going to resolve to 192.168.1.252, where our mail server is. So we'll click Add. Now we've got it, mail.dancecourses.com, A record, IP address, and we'll click Save. Okay, we clicked Add, we're good. All right, no, we don't need to click Save. We just need to click Save if we want to edit something and then save it. All right, so we're good. All right, DNS cache, let's take a look at this. All right, now we're good. Okay, let's test it out now. So now that we have a DNS record pointing to our mail server and our mail server is configured, all we have to do is go over to our client and configure our mail client. So we'll click on, I'm on PC1 now, right here, email, and we'll configure it. My name, we'll say Dan, my email address, dan at mail.danscourses.com and our server information. Incoming mail, that's the pop mail, that's going to be to be mail.danscourses.com. Let's copy that. And our outgoing mail server, our SMTP, is the same. All right. Now our logon information, username Dan, password Dan, and we'll hit save. And now let's see if we can send an email to ourself. So I'll click Compose. I'll send an email to myself. Dan at mail.danscourses.com. Subject, this is a test. Hello world. And hit sent. You can see here the message at the bottom, sending mail with this subject. You can see DNS is resolving, resolving the name, querying the DNS server. DNS server resolved the IP address to 1.252. Send was a success. It worked. So now let's see if we can receive the email. We'll click the receive button and there's our email that was sent. This is a test. Hello world. Okay, that worked out pretty good. So now if we wanted to, we could send an email to our other users. 
So now that you've gotten all of these services working in our, your little test environment, three different servers, five different server services, what you could do now is run all those tests, but run them in simulation mode so that you can see the packets going across the network and click on the packets and see the different port numbers and services that are going across the network. See the DNS query go and then resolve to the DNS server who returns the IP address and then the web page request go to the web server and then come back. Or the DNS query for the mail server that goes to the DNS server comes back and then the mail is sent to the mail server. All of these things are really good to do if you're just starting out. Okay.